According to the conventional cosmological model, the Big Bang occurred around 13.8 billion years ago, and the universe has been expanding non-stop since then. Expansion would imply that enormous objects are moving apart. This indicates that the galaxies we see beyond our Milky Way are receding. The cosmic red shift is used to calculate how far away a galaxy is from us. In a word, the greater the red shift, the greater the distance between us and the galaxy. Light from faraway galaxies takes a long time to reach us. Thus, the farther away a galaxy is, the earlier in time we see it. However, there is a problem. Light from distant galaxies spreads into infrared wavelengths that the human eye cannot detect. Because the Hubble Space Telescope can only detect from ultraviolet to near-infrared light, it seldom finds extremely distant galaxies like GNZ 11, which is represented as existing 13.4 billion years ago, just 400 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy has a red shift of 10957, which leads astronomers to believe that there are very few galaxies beyond Redshift 11. Now comes the James Webb Space Telescope, which has infrared vision. Only infrared light can identify objects with red shifts of 11 and above. So, what comes next? So we launched the telescope and pointed it at the heavens. And presto! From the depths of antiquity, a totally different picture of the universe began to emerge. The telescope discovered dozens of galaxies that may be among the universe's earliest known galaxies. Astronomers used early telescope data to seek for galaxies with very strong red shifts, which would imply that these galaxies evolved earlier in the cosmos than expected. NASA discovered numerous galaxies that may have been the first to appear in the universe 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang when the telescope surveyed the sky. It soon discovered the oldest galaxy in the universe, the Glass Z13 galaxy, at a red shift of 13.2 billion years after the Big Bang. The discovery of such a high number of galaxies in the early universe suggests that we may need to alter our previous understanding of galaxy formation, according to the lead astronomer of the discovery at the University of Missouri. He also stated that our discovery provides the first evidence that many galaxies could have formed in the universe far earlier than previously assumed. While the unexpected discovery captivated the scientific world, another primordial galaxy appeared, this time only 390 million years after the Big Bang. This occurred in August of 2022. Now, with the assistance of Webb, we have discovered more of these high-red-shift, fully-formed galaxies. Not only are they completely formed, but they also appear significantly distinct. Yes, the James Webb Telescope has discovered two more of the most distant galaxies ever seen. The first, known as Uncover Z13, exhibits a red shift of 13.07, confirming that we see it as it existed only 330 million years after the Big Bang. Uncover Z12, the other recently discovered galaxy, has a red shift of 12.393, putting it only 350 million years after the Big Bang. The appearance of these two galaxies, however, distinguishes them from the rest. Other galaxies spotted at such extreme red shifts appear point-like, indicating they are quite tiny, but the uncover galaxies show structure. Previously discovered galaxies appear as dots in our photos, but one of these two appears elongated, almost like a peanut and the other as a fluffy ball. But it isn't all. These galaxies are significantly larger, with Uncover Z12 having an edge-on disk 2,000 light-years across, which is six times larger than other galaxies observed at the time. While these early galaxies are thought to have evolved from similar components, they are already significantly distinct from one another. Surprisingly, the James Webb Space Telescope can see galaxies with even larger red shifts. The Sears team is currently evaluating roughly 10 other galaxies, 
some of which may be even older than Maisie's galaxy. We're seeing a rise of massive galaxies faster than we previously thought. Some of these early galaxies are estimated to be tens of millions of years old. This could have ramifications for enormous structures of dark matter known as halos, which molded early galaxies according to our cosmology. Yes, some troublesome and potentially model-busting early universe candidate galaxies remain, and the first of these may be a class of galaxies discovered by an Australian team of scientists at Swinburne University of Technology. The scientists discovered galaxies with billions of solar masses, comparable in mass to the Milky Way, only 750 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are 10 to 100 times larger than previous galaxies seen in this epoch, yet they are packed into formations 30 times smaller than the Milky Way. What's more surprising is that the galaxies appear to have many more stars than scientists thought conceivable. Indeed, the basic foundations of our understanding of how enormous things form over time have called the cosmological standard model into question. Remember what Michio Kaku remarked after these extremely early galaxies appeared in web photos last year? Oh, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. That was from the previous year. Not only did we uncover more distant galaxies after that, but Webb recently discovered Milky Way-like galaxies near the universe's edge that, according to our physics, should not exist. Many early galaxies, like the ones discovered by the JWST, were teeming with incandescent gas, so luminous that it might outshine stars. These new discoveries demonstrate how frequent such dazzling infant gassy galaxies were when the 13.8 billion-year-old cosmos was only about 2 billion years old. Observations now show that about 90% of the galaxies had so-called severe emission features, indicating that they emitted all of that luminous gas. While analyzing these early galaxies, scientists discovered the most distant example of a galaxy in the cosmos that resembles our own, the Milky Way. Yes, you read that correctly. The newly discovered spiral galaxy, Sears 2112, appears to have had a bar of stars and gas cutting across its heart when the universe was only 2 billion years old. But wait a second, how is that even conceivable? Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is a spiral galaxy with a comparable bar. Scientists believe the, the Milky Way's bar revolves like a cylinder, funneling gas into the galaxy's core and generating bursts of star formation. Previously, astronomers thought this galactic structure marked the conclusion of a galaxy's formative years. Therefore, it was predicted to be detected only in old galaxies that had reached full maturity possibly ones that existed halfway through the universe's existence. And based on previous Hubble Space Telescope measurements of galaxy shapes, we assumed the early cosmos had few barred galaxies. However, our understanding of the early cosmos is evolving. What do you have to say about it? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to Space Beat News.